all right so in today's tutorials we'll be looking at um Monte Carlo integration using R and in, in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to compute a Monte Carlo estimate of this integral and to compare our estimate with the exact value of the integral how do we do this using R before 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 we proceed we first of all need to know how the Monte Carlo simple Monte Carlo estimator works the algorithm behind it so with a simple Monte Carlo estimator of the integral the algorithm is as follows we first of all need to generate independent and identically distributed random samples from the uniform distribution with a given lower bound and an upper bound right then the next step is to compute the mean or the average value of the random samples and to from the that has been generated from the uniform distribution then the last step is to find the estimate by multiplying the difference between the upper bound and lower bound by the average value of the uh, random samples that has been generated from the uniform distribution right so before we start or we proceed to 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 simulate this using our let's look at how to derive this integral um, result using the, um, the 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 manual way, right? The empirical way. So we know how to integrate this function, right? So when we integrate this, going to be the results. So how do we simulate this using R so that we can actually get um, approximately similar values or similar results? To do this, we'll be um, using this algorithm, the three steps. So let's jump into R. So before we proceed, let's pre specify some parameters. Right, we need to know the number of applications that we'll be dealing with. So, here, yeah, the number of applications, let's start with 1000. So, number of replications and then we, we we also need to know the lower band so let's assign our lower band to a right lower bound and then upper bound let's assign it to b so from the question we were given an upper bound of pi divided by 3 now let's go through the steps so step 1 um, step 1 says generate independent and identical distributed random samples from the uniform distribution so generate ID random samples from UNIF AB right so I'm going to assign this to T our UNIF to generate um, uniform distribution independent and identical distributed random samples so the size should be equal to the number of replications and then the minimum should be equal to a that's the lower bound and the maximum should be equal to b which is the upper bound right so we can run this right can run this oh let's rerun this three then we can run this all right so the next step is to find the average value step two says we should find the average value from the uniform distribution that the from the samples that we generated from the uniform distribution right 
so we are going to name this um, average val so that's the mean you are supposed to find the mean of this function oh uh, sorry the mean of the density function st right so um, that's it so sign dot yeah so you are good to go then the test step is to step three is to let's go back so the mean of the um, density function right then the last step is to multiply the difference between the upper bound and lower bound by the average value that we have just obtained so let's do that so obtain the uh, Monte Carlo estimate and how do we do this so let's call this theta theta dot heart so we have to multiply the difference between the upper bound and lower bound by the average value average dot bar right so I think we are good to go so let's see the results let's run this too let's first of all run this we have not run this then we can run this to get our results so oh um, yep so you realize that um the um answer or the result that we have just obtained is um almost close to the empirical result that we had right so this basically close to 0 0.5 as compared to the result that we obtain empirically right we realize that we had 0 0.5 right as compared to the result that we have here they are almost the same we can um, change the number of replication to see the results what if we have 100 right what we the number of replicates is 100 how is the estimate going to look like so let's run everything and see the results so basically also somehow closer to the 0 0.5 right so but if we increase it to let's say one ten thousand let's look at it how is it going to look like? So we are running everything. Well, so as the number of replications increases, you can you realize that it's getting more closer to the empirical result that we just obtained, right? So this is how to um, to 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 compute Monte Carlo integration using R.